Hey, it's Monica with It's Just Sewing, and today I am going to teach you how to make the easiest, sweetest, cutest hot pads and coasters, and the best part is there's absolutely no binding required. We're making them out of layer cakes and charm packs today, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so in terms of supplies that you're going to need today, when you are just making coasters, all you need is a charm pack and it's five by five inch squares. Of course, you can cut your own if you'd like. If you think you're going to make hot pads and coasters, then I would recommend getting yourself a layer cake, which is 10 by 10 inch squares, or you can also cut 10 by 10 inch squares on your own. But what's nice about these is, of course, they're all coordinated, so that is fabulous. You don't have to overthink your colors all going together. The other things that you'll need, obviously you need your sewing machine and your thread, but you will also need to get um, batting. So I cut five by five inch squares with leftover batting that I had for my coasters, and then of course 10 by 10 inch squares, and quite a few of them for any hot pads that I do. So in order to make our coasters, what I'm gonna do is pull out six of my five by five inch squares. And again, since I used a charm pack or a layer cake, they all coordinate beautifully. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put one of the squares facing down, pretty side facing down. And then I'm gonna grab a piece of batting. And I'm gonna put my batting down right on top of it. Next thing I'm going to do is put another square facing up. Now I'm going to take these remaining four and I'm going to go over to my iron and I'm going to fold them and give them a nice press in half. I'll meet you here in just a sec. Okay, so I'm back from my iron and I want you to get a really nice up close view of this so you can see how we assemble our coaster. So again, I have my little sandwich starting. I have got my fabric at the bottom, pretty side facing down. Then I've got my batting. Then I've got another piece of fabric, pretty side facing up. All right, so my nice little sandwich is there. Now let's start stacking um, the layers on top, okay? So I wanna take the first one. I've got my raw edges here and my beautiful cleaned up edge right here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and just set that right there, corner to corner. It all matches up nice and flush. All right, then I'm gonna take my next one and I am going to have the corner align with this corner. So just lay that right on top. Third one, yeah, you guessed it. It's gonna go in that corner, okay? And the fourth, Yes, it is going to angle into this corner. However, what you want to do is you want to lift this one backwards, lift the very first flap up, and bring this one in so that it's underneath the very first one you started with. That way you will see a little bit of each of the fabrics when you turn it inside out in just a few minutes. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and with a 3 8 inch seam allowance you are going to start in a corner, reinforce, go all the way down, pivot in the corner, go down, pivot again, pivot again, bring it up, and reinforce. Lock those stitches in. And I'm going to go do that and I'll meet you back here in just a second. So here I am back from the sewing machine and I, like I said, I sewed all the way around and the final thing I did is I actually cut the corners. Now I didn't cut into the stitch line, but I did cut those corners so that when I turn it inside out, it's going to have a beautiful, beautiful boxy cornered look. Okay, so here we go. It's all ready to go. I'm just going to turn it inside out. And there I go. My coaster is done. How easy is that? So how much fun was that? In no time flat, I was able to make four coasters and a hot pad. Now note about the hot pads, if you're going to use them to truly absorb heat, you want to put several layers of batting in there and maybe even put a piece of Insulbrite inside in between those batting layers and that will absorb the heat so it will protect your table or wherever you're putting your hot um, you know, drinks or dishes or anything like that. Now I've got another little surprise for you that you can use with your coasters. So it is the season for celebrating, and you can use these coasters not only for your hot drinks, but also for your cold ones. You can grab any of your stem glassware, and you can pop your stem inside of those little flaps that we used earlier, and your guests or your family or whoever is around using these can walk around with their drinks and set them down. And if they're different colors, no need for wine charms anymore. They'll just know which coaster is theirs. How great is that? Now, 
As always, you can follow us on all of our social media with It's Just Sewing. So Instagram, Facebook, all of that. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which we absolutely love. But the best way to get all of our information and all of our tutorials is really through our newsletter. We send out all sorts of information that you don't get in YouTube form or on video. And we also give away promotional codes for discounts on our fabric. So you definitely want to sign up for that. All right, it's my anniversary weekend. So I'm going to pop this bad boy and have a little fun with my husband. You guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.